Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is another comic book review, and I hope you enjoy. Today is another episode of Forgotten Spider-Man Rogues. This one is about another character I had in mind since day one. The next ones will be ones you suggested to me. Today we talk about the Tarantula. Just like the fly, I love this character. I always love animal-themed supervillains in Spider-Man's Rogues Gallery. This one may be the, one of the most known because of him being the first villain in a spectacular Spider-Man comic. So let's look at Anton Miguel Rodriguez. He first appeared in The Amazing Spider-Man issue 134 and 135. Here, he's shown just to be hijacking a cruise boat to rob a bunch of people on it. The Punisher even intervenes to help Spidey take on Tarantula, this being the Punisher's second appearance ever, making me question more why he's so forgotten. From the start, Tarantula is an enemy Spider-Man has to use skill to fight. He can't just web this guy up. Spider-Man even acknowledges that he's dangerous. Then, he returned in Amazing Spider-Man issue 147 and 149 through 149. Sure, in this issue 149, it was only a cameo, but he was physically there. The Tarantula has teamed up with the Jackal. He used him as a pawn in the Jackal's plan. He mostly just fights Spider-Man during that time. It does show us that he makes his new boots in prison, that he's also smart. His boots this time didn't have poison in them, but just knocked people out. Something that makes the Tarantula stand out to me is these full page panels they have sometimes when Spider-Man fights him. Next, probably his most iconic appearance is in the very first issue of Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man, issues 1 through 3. Here, the Tarantula has been tasked with going after the mayor, and he runs into Spider-Man. At the end, he gets knocked out by the Lightmaster. His next appearance was under the Amazing Spider-Man title once again in issues 233 through 236. In this, Tarantula returns going after important papers he's been hired to get. Then he turns into an actual Tarantula, but apparently dies at the end. But that doesn't stop him because he returns in his last big role today in Spectacular Spider-Man 137 and 138. Here, a new tarantula arrives in New York and begins assassinating political refugees, so the first tarantula teams up with Captain America. And come on, it's Captain America. The second tarantula, Luis Alarna Alvarez, unlike the first tarantula, he never switched sides. He's an enemy terrorist. He's stronger and more agile than the first one. He's definitely a forgotten rogue, but don't worry, someday I will have more info with him from my channel. Then... There was the Black Tarantula, who first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man issue 1 or 419, but that was a cameo. He really first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man 432. Carlos Lamerto, the title of the Black Tarantula has been passed down for 700 years. He got involved with Crime Lords thanks to the absence of the Kingpin of Crime, and was there when they resurrected Dr. Octopus also. He has also fought Daredevil a lot. There's some more about him, enough to make another Forgotten Rogue video about him, but he's a strong guy mostly. There is a fourth Tarantula, who was a girl and first appeared in Heroes for Hire, Volume 2, Issue 1. Yes, my friends, this is a Civil War tie-in. This Tarantula became a hero to avenge her sister's death after the Stanford incident, which happened because of another Forgotten Spider-Man Rogue, Nitro. He blew up a town in the superhero battle that killed her sister. She has a bad attitude and likes inflicting pain on others. I may be making this shorter, but like I've said, I plan to review all these comics and issues someday. So that was the Tarantula. I must say, I like him the most out of the other Forgotten Spider-Man rogues I'll do. A unique character, and used a lot more than other Forgotten Spider-Man rogues in the comics. But for example, my next Forgotten Spider-Man rogues villain has been in media. The Tarantula has it. So please, if you enjoyed this, please, please think of liking the video and commenting what your thoughts down below. And please subscribe. I have 80 subscribers. I can't believe it. Well, bye guys, and have a good day.